Hello there guys, it's Joey. So I thought I would do a little natter kind of video about a experience I had this morning. So I decided to give Labdanum Resonoid a go on a whim. I was getting a few bits and pieces from Star Child and I'll probably wait till after the weekend to do a witchy haul video because I'm going crystal hunting this weekend. And I had a really interesting experience. In this lifetime I've never used this resonoid before. And I'll, I'll read you the blurb from, from what it says. This intensely aromatic, sticky, resinous substance derived from certain Mediterranean species of the rock rose bush. Throughout Medita the Mediterranean region people have long valued this natural perfume. The sweet aroma is deeply sensuous and almost intoxicating. It opens the mind to the realms of the imagination. So I have never used this before in this lifetime. I've, I've never smelt it before. And as I carefully opened the little bottle, I recognised the scent. And I was just thinking about how peculiar it is when you get these moments along a spiritual path or a witchy path or however you want to define it. And I kind of came to this sort of natural conclusion, this natural musing, that it must be a soul imprint, which is what the title of the video will be and what I was musing about. I have a very strong inclination that I have had previous lives in the Mediterranean. I'm certain of it. I'm absolutely certain that at least one of them was Spanish. Uh, I have sort of this natural inclination to feel at home with anything Spanish and I have very little reason in this lifetime to feel that way. There are others as well of course. Uh, Jap Japan is one of, another one which I'm pretty sure there's some connection there somewhere too. But I smelt the smell and I recognised it and it just sort of took me to this Mediterranean energy immediately and I can't fully express how I know the scent or it hasn't yet brought back any images to mind. Excuse me. It's too warm already. I'm starting to yawn because it's too warm. Ugh. Um, <laughs> she says, talking about Mediterranean and this lifetime she's useless with heat. <laughs> there you go. Too many Mediterranean lifetimes. Not used to it in this one. And I've had a number of sort of full-on visualisations of different lives and things and some of them being when I've come into contact with people that I believe I recognise their soul energy to the point where I freaked one person out because they knew they'd had a past life with this certain image of what they wore and things and I like described it to them and they were like a little bit weirded out they'd never had that happen to them they'd done it to other people but um, I hadn't had it happen to them but I was musing around this this soul imprint this recognition of things that we don't really have a full explanation for some people sort of attribute it to the feeling of deja vu, of having been somewhere before, of recognising a person that you've never seen, of a place, of a feeling, and I guess in this circumstance of a scent, of a sense of smell. And I was just thinking about the idea of things being imprinted on our soul in our soul's life path journey and how these little things or these little tantalising hints of soul memory it's weird and interesting and something that I can't fully get my head around yet and can't fully g grasp and it's like knowing something which is just out of your reach that you just can't remember and it's tantalising and annoying all at the same time <laughs> and I was just thinking how interesting it is that you know 
we don't often talk about the sense of smell in terms of memory recall and it's acknowledged to be one of the most powerful forms of helping us to remember certain types of information like a scent can take you right back to a memory within this lifetime and take you right back somewhere good or bad and it just triggers memory like nothing else and I was thinking you know that's so well documented to the point where they even recommend that you try different scents when you're trying to remember things and the aromatherapy of of memory if you like I was just thinking that although I haven't done extensive research into uh, past life recall I have read around the subject and I don't think I've ever heard of scent being used in such a fashion and it it makes more sense to me if, if you know if you recognize memory in this lifetime so strongly associated with scent that if you believe in past lives and things and reincarnation which I do if you don't, you know, then fair enough, but let's not have that debate, each their own. Um, then a sense of smell in being imprinted onto your soul, and your soul recognising it, and you're sure you haven't smelt this in this lifetime, and you're like, it, it's weird. I was just musing around it, I thought I'd share this little experience that I'd had. And it just, you know, it fills me with this idea of, of low, warm Mediterranean sun and fields and fields of flower. And I, it's, it's kind of golden fields that I, I, I don't quite recognise. I've got a feeling if I work with it, I, I will probably, and I will be working with it, but, you know, I've got a feeling I will get strong imagery because of this scent, this imprint, this knowing that I can't quite fully explain. I just thought it was really interesting and I just thought I would make a quick video just musing over it and seeing if anyone else had had any similar experiences. Many blessings. <laughs>